there's somebody in your past <clears throat> possibly pursuing you, an air sign. And then you're forging ahead and you're trying to follow another person, possibly an earth sign. So there's a trail of energy. You know, it's like um, unrequited love, almost unrequited love, or at least, you know, a, a threesome type of energy coming through. So let's just get the rest of the cards out and then I'll start talking about it. Okay, so um, a lot of you might have been dealing with an air sign from um, July, okay? And um, it's problematic that you are showing up in the reverse position because I do feel that um, the Knight of Wands in the reverse position is not a good card in general because it deals with a lot of like sexual energy, lust. It's also somebody who is very, very spirited and who is quite impulsive. So, you know, rein it in a little bit narrow down what it is that you want to do who it is that you're trying to pursue and don't scatter your energy far and wide so quality over quantity would be my thing mainly because um you're ending with the star card and this is the card of wishes promises hopes aspirations coming true all right so no matter how problematic things have been for you in the past and i would say like even you know july especially the third, um, the, excuse me, the, the first three weeks of July, when we had started having that, um, Venus in retrograde, I do feel that a lot of you are just like, you, you lost your footing, you lost your bearing, you don't know which love interest to pursue, you're fascinated by one, you're, f you're like intellectually stimulated by one, but you're like, um, physically attracted to another. So you didn't really know where to go. And then you ended up going in circle. And then you realize, you know, by the end of July, what didn't work. And then moving forward into August, whatever was like decided upon on July 31st, I do feel that you are going to have to retrace your step and redo it. Okay. So whatever was decided on, you know, just like on the 31st, if you're out casually having a drink with a friend and you're just like, this is my plan for the next three years, whatever that was, or this is who I want to be with, whatever, who that ever that person is, it's showing here that, uh, whatever plan was, um, said, laid down or planned on July 31st, give or take like one or two days you have to retrace your step and redo it okay unfortunately because i don't um i don't feel you're heading in the right, right direction okay so i would urge you to you know take some time think about you know in your whatever state that you were in and whatever you decided then just take a moment and think how about how feasible it is and most likely i do feel that it needs to be retraced so that you can have a better outcome in the future all right so let's talk about this love triangle thing first okay um so for this month i do feel uh, an element of um an air sign, definitely an air sign, possibly like uh, an air signs are Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and possibly an Aquarius. This is the card of Aquarius coming through as a, as a shining star. Basically, this is somebody that is in your mist somehow. And um, essentially, the air sign is telling you which direction to go and take heed of where you're headed. But I do feel that you were a little bit off track. And now you're trying to write things with, you know, your, your, your relationships, you're trying to write things like you're trying to turn your life around and you, you are kind of lost at this point. So it's not going to be until like the, the middle of the, the third week of August, 2015 of this month that you're going to realize, you know, what didn't work and where you're headed. Okay. So by that time, there is going to be a change in your course, in your life direction. So you're going to be basically doing a 180 and then retracing your steps and trying to find your bearing. And it's basically like getting back to square one, but don't uh, fret over it because square one was what you needed, where you needed to be in order to be in the right direction towards the end of this month. Okay. So think of it as, you know, 
life lessons, trial and error. We have to do things in order to find out what works, in order to find out, you know, we, we can't really live life with like, what if I had done this? What if I had th done that? Because essentially, I do feel that a lot of people have said this, like, um, by the end of their lives, the things that they don't do are the things that they regret the most, okay? So don't think of it as a lapse in judgment or as, you know, making a mistake. It's mainly because you were pushed or pulled to do whatever it was and to feel very strongly about doing something for a reason. And it's mainly for the learning experience. So don't think of it as, you know, um, making a mistake or don't think of it as... Um, you wasted your time, you know, trying to rework the situation, trying to rekindle things with a person. And then at the end, you you ended up empty handed. That's a very like pessimistic way of looking at life. And life in general is more about the journey rather than the destination. OK, so, for example, if we want to if we're at A and we want to be at B and we just tell ourselves that, you know, I want to be there and like, you know, somehow I, I guess teleport ourselves to that point where we want to be basically um it's is cheating and it's also depriving us of that opportunity to experience the process of getting from a to b where we are learning and solidifying you know our um the things that we want in our lives we're learning more about ourselves we're learning about the world we're learning about other people so think of it as a learning experience okay so for those of you who have been involved with an air sign in the past or who is you know the air sign is showing up as well in the two of swords and next to this card of Aquarius. So I do feel for those of you who have been thinking about, you know, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, you are, there is a sense of, um, I do feel that, um, you know, because you're showing up in the reverse position, I do feel that there is uh, lies and deception associated with your actions it could also be the other person's actions but it's in the reverse so I do feel you're also in the reverse so I do feel there might have been some you were hoping for some quick gain some quick victory with this air sign and it didn't pan out the way that you want so overall there's a sense of awkwardness in communication or especially in going back to the air sign and um, there is an opportunity to do it pretty much by the end of the month, once all that retrograde energy basically starts to stabilize and you can find your footing and you can move forward and you can go back and, and fix the situation with the air sign. Okay. So if you have an air sign, I do sense that the relationship was very, very faulty. It was built on, um, on really like muddled and cloudy and like rose colored glasses type of, um, communication you both were like, um, I, I do sense that you both were not um, seeing each other truthfully, like realistically. You might have like had a, um, there. I, I do sense there is a, uh, like a fascination, but you know, with the moon, it's very illusory. So for this month, clarity is definitely, definitely coming through from this air sign. And you're going to decide if you want them in your life or not. And I do sense that... Um, a lot of you will forge forward, possibly with this air sign, okay? Um, at the same time, when I mentioned the, the threesome love relationship, a lot of you might be um, getting involved with like an earth sign as well. And earth signs are Capricorn, Virgos, and um, Taurus, okay? And I do sense that um, this didn't bring you, you know, the, the stability that you were hoping for, or at least what you saw wasn't what you were getting with this earth sign. And this earth sign is a little bit more, um, they're like unemotionally available. Yeah. I do feel like unemotionally available. And, um, I do sense that with this earth sign in their mist, they might have somebody else. They might be in like a separation. They might be in a, a very open type of relationship in which, they're kind of like here today, gone tomorrow. I'll take what I can get. And then, you know, they move forward. So they're not, they're, they're looking out for number one, which is themselves. And from your perspective, there's great attraction. You feel that they're stable because, you know, innately they're an earth sign. So they will project an aura that they're looking for something a little bit more stable, a little bit more, um, <clears throat> 
a little bit more like uh, conducive for longevity. So you were basically um, falling in love with this image rather than the reality. So, you know, a lot of signs in general went through this, like towards the end of July. Everyone was like getting together. Everyone was hooking up. And then the uh, full moon happened in which, you know, things were illuminated. You know, you've got the lay of the land and you figure out people's true colors and their true intentions. And the rose colored glasses came off for a lot of signs, but especially for earth signs and the fire signs across the board. I do feel that um, total illumination came through. And for this... Um, I would say for the first two weeks, you're kind of in an introspective phase and you're trying to do damage control is what I'm sensing. Um, you know, good for you. It's always important to recognize when we've made a mistake. It's also important to like figure out, find our bearing first, because I do feel a lot of you too with the Venus retrograde, um, you were kind of, things are like up in the air with a lot of potential love interests and you're trying to figure out you know who's the best person to be with so you might have gone with one and you feel that okay I, I've already you know burned that bridge I can't go back actually there are plenty of opportunities coming through especially towards the end of this month and you know it is your birthday time as well so I do feel wishes are being fulfilled left and right so don't um, deprive yourself of the opportunity to uh, essentially admit if you have made a mistake or if you feel that you're off track somewhat and you want to like find your bearing and rewrite yourself and, you know, reroute yourself back to the starting point in order to begin again is what I'm sensing. This is wishes coming true for you guys this week, uh, this month, excuse me. And it is going to be very um, much like related to work projects, home situations, and relationships, okay? So it's very, very love-focused. It's also very much like uh, relationship-oriented, okay? So if there have been troublesome relationships in your past, I do feel that for this month, you are going to be able, you're going to be able to reconcile. You're going to be able to right all the wrongs. You're going to be able to balance out, give and take in the relationship as well, okay? Um, I do feel that um, there are a lot of opportunities for family get-togethers, family reunions, and things like that. And it's understandable because it is your birthday time. So there's going to be a lot of um, opportunities to meet up with old friends, to, um, to hang out with people in a very joyous type of environment in which people are letting down their guard and, you know, and it's sort of like a let bygones be bygones type of energy. And especially coming through with your birthday time, on the day of your birthday, whenever that is, like um, it might have happened already or it might be, you know, until the 21st of this month. But a lot of you are feeling as if um, life is too short. I'm going to spend it with people who give me what I want or at least people who are emotionally supportive, okay? So you're moving forward and the ones that have been like, um, I know that as fire signs as well, you don't enjoy deception in other people very much and that's going to be your criteria. Life is too short, so the ones that have deceived me in the past, I'm not going to, you know, put much stock in them coming around. You're not, I don't get like an energy where you're cutting people off for good, but I do feel it's sort of like, um, I'm going to take care of the people that matter to me. I'm going to pick up the pieces and move forward and rewrite myself, reroute myself to a better path. And the ones that have, you know, either deceived me in the past, have backstabbed me, have not been emotionally supportive of me, um, if they want to, you know, follow me and appease me or at least show proof that they're changing, that's fine. But I'm not going to put my life on hold for them anymore. I'm going to, like, basically pursue the life course that I'm meant to be on. And if they catch up, that's good for them, all right? So it's a very nice, good attitude to approach life in general. Um, I do sense as well, there's going to be like travel, There, there's travel here. Be very, very careful with travel logistics, especially if you're seeing like friends and family, if you're traveling with friends and family. I do sense that there is traveling, um, but the end, the destination is going to be meeting up with other people. 
And um, I do feel if you're traveling with another person, you are basically, um, there's a lot of like planning. There's a lot of, um, and it is, it's pretty much, it's not fair, but I would say it's an enjoyable trip. Okay. So don't worry about it too much. And, um, every time you travel, it's actually good for you. So, you know, just go with it. But I do feel that a lot of the logistical planning is going to automatically fall on your shoulders. Either that or you're taking it upon yourself to travel with another person and you are being extra meticulous and careful about the logistics so that nothing can go wrong. My advice here is take it easy. You know, um, you have a lot on your plate. I do feel like in terms of relationships, in terms of work situation too, there might be like some structural changes, especially like expansion or contraction in the work environment. So you have quite a bit on your plate. You have, a, um, I also sense um, going back and redoing work projects as well. You know, something that you hastily got done so that you can have time to take a trip, for example, or have some time to, to, to go off and see a family member. Something was hastily done. And as a result, you're going to have to backtrack and redo it. So don't do things in haste. Get things done in a timely manner. Otherwise, it's going to create more work for yourself or other people and they might become resentful on the work front. Okay, so don't rush anything. Don't rush anything for this month. That's probably just good advice. Um, I also want to say that um, for those of you who are thinking about even, you know, getting uh, moving homes, like um, moving to a different place to live, uh, selling a property. October looks very good for when the property is going to be sold or at least, you know, um, October is a good time to put it on the market. Okay. Because I do sense that, um, there is some structural work or structural repairs inherent in the household or in the home that needs to be taken care of. And then by the time you place it on the market in October, it would give you enough buffer time to take care of that situation. Okay. So if you've been thinking about that and, um, you're thinking about like, even, um, if there are family members, like not even, you know, like not getting along and things like that, the situation itself is going to be righted around the time of October. Okay. I do feel a lot of, um, for a lot of signs like October after, we have another Mercury in retrograde coming through in September. So October is going to be the time when it's pretty much smooth sailing. And October is when the sun is in the constellation of Libra. So things tend to be a, li a lot more like um, a lot lighter, a lot more friendly. And just um, I feel that by October, a lot of the really heavy, emotionally draining energies and aspects are going to be gone. So then October looks like a very good celebratory time for most people in general, okay? And at least people are going to have a better sense of what they want to do, where they want to go, and things like that. So it's more like um, for the next few months, wrap things up, find closure, and, you know, try to resolve situations that have been hanging or hovering over your head. It's sort of like, you know, take care of all those elephants in the room discussions, take care of those troublesome relationship patterns, especially, or behaviors from you or your partner, address those issues so that you can move forward in a more positive light. Okay. And I do sense that it is birthday season, make a wish because I do feel wishes are coming true for, for you guys. So, um, if you are in a relationship or thinking about an air sign, I do feel there is an opportunity for you to go back and fix it. If you're thinking about a situation with an earth sign, it can be resolved by the end of this month, at least when you, you know, if you are doing damage control on the love front and you're trying to figure out, you know, what it is that you want to do and who it is you want to forge ahead with, I do feel a lot more clarity is going to come through for you. Now, since we don't have any type of pentacles card, I'm going to pull out three more cards just to look at your financial situation. There's an element of stagnation regarding the money front. Okay, so let's just look. Yeah, there is a, a sense of stagnation. Um, you are in the reverse position surrounded by, you know, the cards aren't too great. Um, so on the love front, things are looking good. But on the uh, progression, financial... Um, I guess financial gains front is not looking too great. So let's look at this. I do have the five of cups in the reverse. 
the world in the reverse, which indicates restriction, working under the mandates of somebody else and feeling a little bit stifled and restricted, okay? I also have the Empress card, which is basically in the reverse. It's um, uh, I'm using these cards specifically for finances and work environment. So I do feel that um, if you are in a work situation in which... Um, you are, you know, constantly like being monitored, being surveyed or being, um, you might have somebody who's a little bit of a micromanager at work that you're working under, like a supervisor with those traits. And, um, it feels as if, you know, um, I also feel like it's a busy, busy, busy month for you. So you might not have time to, it seems like the more ground you cover, the next day, it's not that you're starting over again, but it's just you're expanding so fast and there's so much work to do that you're not sure if you're covering enough ground. So it's a really tremendously busy month for you. So, you know, you definitely have to hit the ground running. And I do feel that in general, if there is a situation in which there's a lot of work to do on the work front, 